Welcome to another episode of The Good Greek, and today we're cooking in Cambodia again, this time in the lovely kitchen of the Happiness Bungalows where we're staying. They've let us use it, which is very kind of them. What we're going to cook today is a sort of variation on bouilladie, which is normally red peppers, tomatoes and feta in an oven-baked sort of dish. But we're going to modify that with some spinach and a few other things and sort to simplify it. And we're also going to do melanzana salata, which is an aubergine dip. That's just really simple. Aubergines, onions, garlic, a little bit of lemon. And I'm going to show you how to make those today. Thanks. For the uh, modified bouillardie, I've got some red peppers and fresh tomato. I've got spring onions instead of normal onions. Um, I've also got some more garlic some oregano, um, some basil leaves, again salt and pepper and some olive oil. I'm also going to put, because it's tomatoes, a little bit bitter, I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of sugar in there as well. And then just to modify my bouillardie, because um, I'm not eating dairy anymore because I, I don't like um, lactose, it's very good for me, so uh, I'm putting spinach in there with a little bit of chicken stock and I'm going to work that down with a little bit of water and um, that's going to add the sort of salty flavour that I'm missing from the feta. Okay, so while my aubergine is cooking I'm going to get going with the spinach so I'm just going to add a little bit of water in there um, again just so I can get that steaming and so that the stock has something to melt into. But a lot of water is going to come out of that spinach as well. So here's my spinach um, with some chicken stock, uh, reduced down, still got a little bit of green in there. You know it goes, the green goes, you know you overcooked it, overcooked it, but when it's like this, that's exactly right. Now in a pan uh, with some oil, I'm going to put um, some garlic. Leave that oil. pepper in there. So I remember peppers are spice, so always fry your spices. But also the pepper, add it towards the end if you want that really strong peppery kick. Um, because when you cook it, the flavour degrades a little bit. Alright, and then in there I'm going to put these um, red peppers. So I'm just going to put some tomatoes in this pot and um, put them down. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in there. A little bit of salt. I've already got salt in the stock, so I don't need a lot, but I want a little bit more. And the dreaded sugar, just a, just a little bit, guys, just a little bit. It's not going to kill you. But I'm also going to add some oregano in there. Good healthy amount. Is that about two, three tablespoons? Uh, two spoons. And a little bit of this basil. Tiny bit of paprika as well. Okay, about two spoons. It's a nice idea when you're doing two dishes to have one ingredient in both those dishes that unites them. Then, uh, you know, sometimes you get two things on a plate and they just don't make any sense together, two completely different flavours. It's a really good idea to try and um, join those things together, so that's a good way to do it. You put paprika in one, paprika in the other, and then they're, they're linked. And there's nothing in there apart from the tomatoes and the herbs, there's no oil or anything. I just want to cook these down. I'm going to add the oil from here uh, and the peppers into there. So I've got oil coming. Now in here I'm going to add some um, spring onions. I also think colour in food is so, so important. I really like the idea that on your plate you should have a rainbow. And then um, it's a really good way of making sure you're getting all the nutrients, all the good things that you need. It's beautiful to look at and it's great to eat.
All right, so that's nice and um, softened now. Um, it's going to get a bit more in the next pot, so I'm going to do the pan for that thing. That's going in there. Okay, and just give that a mix. Okay, now this normally it goes in the oven, but apart from the fact that I don't have one, um, I don't need it because I'm putting this on top of bread, I'm serving it a bit differently, so um, for me I want this to be a little bit sloppy, um, and if you bake it that's going to evaporate a lot of it, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it like this. Peppers, tomato, spring onion, a little bit of garlic. So I'm just going to add my spinach to that. And, um, if you add pepper towards the end, it, you, you know, the pepper flavour denatures less, so you get stronger pepper flavour. So I'm going to put some more, quite, quite a lot. Because um, I want the flavour, and also. I want a little bit more herbs, so I'm going to add another two teaspoons. Maybe two and a half, three. All right, and then we're basically there. Just want to reduce that water a little bit, um, but I do want it juicy. I want it like a stew. So you can soak up the bread with it. Alright, so there is my finished Boyardini variation. Um, so, as you can see, if this was in the oven, it would have feta over it and it would be a lot drier. It would be pretty much a different dish. But what I want to do with this is I'm going to drizzle it over um, some cut up baguettes um, at this World Food Fair that we're going to next. Um, so, you're going to see how we serve it there. Um, yeah, I'm going to mix that with the aubergine dip and the melanzana saliva and hopefully it's going to go down well.